Symplectic geometry is the study of the movement of particles in space, which entails studying symplectic manifolds. Symplectic manifolds are infinitely differential, or smooth, like a planet. All of these fancy formulas, along with the rest of symplectic geometry, may seem scary, and they are, but I'm going to try to simplify the overall concepts, because symplectic geometry is an exciting area of development in mathematics. Let me familiarize you with some terminology. A manifold is a topological space. It contains a set of all the points in a shape. A manifold can be modeled by Euclidean space locally, like a map, but it can be more complex or abstract generally. A vector, not the orange jumpsuit due to this fit will be, but the mathematical term, is a quantity having direction and magnitude. In Euclidean space, a particle's position can be described by two points, its longitude and latitude. Remember the math. But Hamilton, an Irish mathematician, found that the situation for a particle in the space-time we inhabit, or curved space, is a bit different. We can think of a particle's momentum as a vector, a line tangent to the particle. All of the possible vectors gives you a 2D plane, or vector board. This vector board is also called tangent space, and if you think of all possible tangent spaces, you have yourself a tangent bundle of the manifold. Now, each point on this tangent bundle is described by four points instead of two. Two points for its position, and two more for its momentum. Recently, Abu Zaid and Bloomberg of Columbia University developed a new theory, the flohmore alvaquet theory, and this theory proved the Arnold conjecture. The conjecture correlates fixed points to the number of holes of an object, which determines the shape of the object. It explains mapping for shapes like a sphere or a torus. The goal of the theory was not to prove the Arnold conjecture, but by doing so their approach was validated. Their work is now a building block for future mathematical theories. Math is great.